When Victor Charles was 15 years old in 1954, as a sophomore at St. Augustine High School, he was over six foot tall and weighing nearly 300 pounds. He was unique in stature and he was incredibly intelligent and perceptive of people. While growing up, it was no secret that his male peers were treated differently than him and how the young girls looked at them, but never at him. He was physically different and he knew it. He couldn't keep from seeing the young girls' eyes staring at the handsome slim boys who most likely played athletic sports and he must have perceived the differences and knowing the young girls would never look at him quite that way too. It is natural for humans to want to be admired and wanted, and especially when it comes to sexuality. Victor Charles may have come to an early conclusion knowing even though girls didn't find him that attractive, his inner yearning for intimacy may have chosen another course in wanting to be sexually aroused with young men instead. Young men at the age of 15 years old contemplate on sexuality all the time because it is a natural human element for being alive. Masturbation is always a first choice for many young men, and as for Victor Charles at one point in his early life, may have had a sexual episode with another boy friend, and that isn't unrealistic or wrong because it happens every day of the year and has been for numerous centuries from the very beginning. Here are a few homosexuals that enchanted the world. Composers Aaron Copland, Leonard Bernstein, Elton John, and playwrights like Tennessee Williams, Noel Coward, Oscar Wilde, and actors too, like Montgomery Clift, Charles Lawton, and Ian McKellen, and numerous others. They all were gay at some time in their lives by sexually loving men instead of women. And they did quite well, and today are all considered legends within their arts. The names of these talented and creative giants of the arts should be greatly appreciated for what they have given to mankind. None of them are no lesser because of whom they brought into their beds. Whether my uncle Victor Charles was gay or not, it doesn't matter because he still remains being a creative gem. And if he was born gay, he will always be cherished for centuries to come. Victor Charles was learning acting at St. Augustine High School and soon performing on the San Diego Junior Theater stage. He was in two of their productions being Aladdin and playing in the role of the evil magician on October 16, 1954. And in Hans Brinker and the Silver Skates, in the role of Dr. Popeman on November 13, 1954. The Bona family never had it any better than in 1954, when they could step out of their front door and within seconds be standing in the water of Mission Bay. Their home was directly across from the Bahia Hotel, where an old Mississippi riverboat was docked. There were small sailboats and motorboats and water skiers being pulled across the bay and with seagulls flying in the sky overhead looking for crumbs of food on the sand. 
This was the paradise I knew when growing up there and playing in the sand with my two sisters and my uncle David Francis. Granny Grunts and Grandma Mert would be sitting in the kitchen talking and laughing and cooking the greatest french fries in the entire whole world. Victor Charles was always a blur popping in and out of that beach house door, being here, there, and everywhere with his friends and theatrical productions. He was never one to be sitting lazily around doing nothing because his intellect and amazing energy would never allow him to do anything like that.